Hello, my name is Saurav Dhyani and in this video we will see a demo of uh, using a prover type approver in workflow. This is sixth video in this series. In the earlier videos we have talked about different workflow setup options and we have also seen a demo of using a prover type workflow user group and salesperson purchaser and this is the last option that is available there which is of approver type approver so to start with thank you for all your comments and questions based on your suggestions and feedbacks i'm you know i keep on recording things that you request so thank you for that and let's start so before we start let's see i have the similar setup i have three users sort of which will be the requester that's me and then there is an approver one who would be the approver one in our case and then the approver two will be the approver two in our case so let's first go and update our workflow search for workflow select your workflow that you are testing with disable it choose the response on the first line and then on the third response we'll change salesperson purchaser to approver because we are going to test today approver type approver so let's start it from top and then we'll go down in uh, in sequence of approval limit type so the first one there is approval chain as we have seen in the previous video approval chain works in the same way like it did in the salesperson and purchaser with a minor change and we'll talk about it with approver chain selected system creates approval request entries for all the users in the approver hierarchy from the start as in the requester till it reaches to the first qualified approver based on the amount of that particular order so let's see what that means let's click ok and let's enable it back that's enabled now as i was saying that there is a very small difference between this and the salesperson purchaser we'll have to update our user approval user setup so search for approval user setup so if you remember we use this field or we set this field when we were using salesperson and purchaser approver type but as this is approver type approver or approval chain uh, then we don't need salesperson and purchaser salesperson and purchaser is only required when you are using the chain with salesperson and purchaser selected on your approval setup so we are set we'll use the same setup as we discussed earlier and let me open the same slide deck okay and let me remove these values so as i said there we don't need salesperson so we'll remove it so this is kind of our setup when this user sort of requests for an approval of the sales order it goes to approver 1 if the amount is more than 1000 till 1000 sort of can auto approve it which will get automatically approved because the requester and the approver is same if it is more than 1000 then it'll go to approver 1 also until 2000 if it is more than 2000 then it'll also go to approver 2 which is set up as unlimited sales approver and let's see that here approver 2 is set up as unlimited sales approver so let's quickly see that how that works so once you go to the sales order find one which is open uh, 
let's go down okay let's pick this one so now let's first build our matrix when the order amount will be less than thousand there will be only one entry approval entry for me because I can approve till thousand and status will automatically change to approved when it is less greater than thousand and less than two thousand it will be for sort of and approver one the status will be approved and open this is what my expectation is and this is sort of approver one and approver two and the status will be approved open and created so let's see what happens let's test the first scenario where the order total amount in local currency is less than thousand so we see right now it's USD as one 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 seven seven zero let's change the quantity to one that will change the amount on the order once it gets validated so now if you see the amount is changed to 59 which is within the requester limit to auto approve it so with this setup I'll be able to approve this so let's send an approval request request approval this should get converted to released and if you want to see what happened from navigate order go to approvals and you'll see one entry for this order which was center ID was sort of and approver ID was sort of so it get automatically approved now let's change the quantity to let's say 20 okay sorry I'll have to reopen this before I do any change okay let me change it to 20 once I change it to 20 it went past my limit sort of limit so now it should go to approver 1 because it's within his, his limit he is the first qualifying approver for the amount so now let's request approval this will change to pending approval and if you want to see navigate order approvals you will see that the first one was for the first time when we did it and these two were created the first one was approved and second one is open for approver one so let's see what happens when approver one logins to his session and look for request to approve you will see an entry which is pending for approval sent by Saurav you can do the same action approve reject or delegate can see what the record is and also can add comments so I approve it once I approve it as approver this will change to release and from navigate you will see that the approval is approved for both the lines let's open this again and this time I'll increase the quantity to let's say 40 so now it's passed approver 1 limit which is 2360 it's past that it's greater than 2000 so these three entries should be created so let's request for approval send approval request send check entries and you will see three new entries one which is automatically approved because it was sent by me and I had one level of approval for approver 2 it's created and approver 1 it's open the difference between open and created is that open the approver can see it on his window so let's see request to approve you can see it in window 
the one which is created will not will not be visible to the user approver 2 because he is his entry is yet only created he will only see it when the approver once approves it if he rejects it then the whole approval will get cancelled but if he approves it then approver 2 will see an entry on his page let's refresh this and now he sees the entry if he rejects it then the requester will see that the entry is changed back to open let's see that it's changed back to op open and if he navigates and sees the status because this was rejected by approver 2 which also rejected the whole cycle of it so that was the first option which was approval chain now let's see the second option in workflow setup as in workflows I'll disable it go to the response and change it to the second option which is direct approver so if you remember we had a problem while testing it in salesperson and purchaser let's see how it behaves this time so I enable it again and let's set our expectation my expectation that I have in any of these cases the entry should be created for approver one and it should be open and I'll talk about it what that means so either the amount is less than that I can approve or no in all the cases approver one will get the approval request if the workflow is set up for direct approver and the reason is because in this case the direct approver of the requester always gets the, re uh, the approval request irrespective of the amount of the order so my direct approver is Saurav's sort of, uh, direct approver is approver 1 so irrespective of the amount approver 1 will always get a approval entry to approve so let's check that let's see how it behaves on this one so let me pick a new order and reduce the quantities on it okay 258 which is as per the setup which is which I can approve if I look at from the amount perspective so let's see what happens when we do a request approval and send approval request it says it has been sent it doesn't say it has been approved so let's see what happened and whose entry for which you approver the entry was created so if you see there was there is only one entry for approver one which is the direct approver for Saurav in the setup let's try increasing amount so for that let me cancel approval request okay and then make it let's say 10 so this is supposed to be an approver one case so we don't need to test it but let's increase it to 10 also so that it bypasses the approver one even in this case the request will be sent only to approver one and I'm saying only there will be no other entries even for me or for anybody so if you see irrespective of the amount in the setup it always goes to approver one which is a direct approver for me so in summary 
the direct approver thing only works if you use the approver type approver not approver type salesperson that seems not working in that scenario now we have tested two let's check the another one which is let's see what the other options are workflows disable it change the direct approver to the third option which is first qualified approver now first let's understand how first qualified approver is different than what we have seen till now in case of first qualified approver the only create the entry that's approval entry that will be created is only for the first qualified approver for the requester based on the amount so it's to test this we will check only the scenario where or let's say we'll check the both all three scenarios in the first one the person who is requesting it will get it so I'll get it in this case because I'm I you know if I do it less than thousand then I'm the person who is qualified to approve it right and this will be approved in this case there will be an entry created for me also and for approver one also but this one will be approved and this one will be open and the last one will have a little bit different behavior that will have one for me and one for approver 2 it will leave approver 1 because he is not qualified for that amount because the amount is greater than 2000 so it will skip the intermediate approvers which are which are defined in your hierarchy so let's test this out we have already changed our setup enable the workflow let's pick a order this time a different one this is right now set to zero so I'll have to put a unit price to start with let's put 100 for 10 or let's say 99 so this is within my limit so if I request for approval this should automatically get approved that's what happened let's quickly go and see under approvals and as expected it's behaving similarly let's check the next scenario where we'll reopen it and we'll change the unit price in this case to 102 which bypasses my limit it's a limit of approver 1 so let's request for approval done navigate order approvals so if you see one entry for approver 1 is open but there is an additional entry as usual is created for me because I have that limit the only difference that you'll see is in the third scenario how it is different from first one approval chain how it is different from approval chain so let's increase it to this time change the quantity to 20 so it bypasses the approval one limit and it should create these two entry one for me which is approved and then the final approver who can approve that amount to approval two so let's navi let's request approval and send approval request it's been sent let's navigate order and approvals you will see only two entries were created one for me and one for approver 2 it skipped approver 1 because in case of first qualifying approver it's not required to go through the whole hierarchy it finds the approver who can approve that amount 
and then directly creates entry for that particular approver so let's quickly see the last one which we have seen already and it is not that different but we'll just go to the setup to understand it so I'll disable it again go to the response and the last one is sorry not this one specific approver so in this case when you choose a specific approver as we have seen in salesperson purchaser one also you need to specify which is the appro who is the approver and all the entries irrespective of your setup will always go to that particular user so it doesn't go through the loop it just goes to the directly to that approver who is defined in the approver id field here so that's being said let's quickly recap what the, these different types of approver uh, options that we have seen in approval type approver first one was approval chain which will follow your hierarchy that you have defined in approval user setup it will take care and consider the amounts that you have defined the limits and it'll create approval request for each and every uh, approver in the hierarchy the second is direct approver in this option only the direct approval will re receive the approval request and the direct approver is identified in your approval user setup which is defined as the approver ID against the requester so let me open that so if Saurav is creating it in case of direct approver it will always go to approver 1 if approver 1 is creating it then it will always go to approver 2 so this is how direct approver works then the third one that we saw was first qualified approver and in that case system eliminates the intermediate approvers and directly create approval request to the person who qualifies to approve that amount and last but not least is a specific approver where you select which user you want to send the approval request and based on that it directly creates entry for that specific user irrespective of hierarchy and limit so i hope you find this video useful uh, please share your views suggestions questions as comment to this video please do share this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done it have a great day and see you next time